In this video, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of AutoCAD's landing page. Anytime you open up AutoCAD, you're going to land on this page. This is where it opens to. You've got two different pages, actually, that we have access to. So we're in the Create page. If you look down here, we can see the word Create at the bottom. There's also a Learn page that we'll take a tour of. It's just a quick little tour. Notice when you open it up, I've got recent documents in the middle. If you are opening AutoCAD for the first time, you probably just have some sample projects that AutoCAD gives you. But outside of that, anytime you open up AutoCAD, you'll see the most recent projects that you've been working on. Over here to the side, notifications. So anything that Autodesk feels like you need to have a notification about, it will give you notifications here. You do have access to sign into your account. This would be your Autodesk 360 account, which is their version of a cloud account. I actually never use that, so uh, I skip over that part over there. When we're ready to start a new drawing, you can either click on this button. You notice how it highlights blue whenever I hover over it, click on a new that button to get a new drawing and here I have a brand new drawing. Notice I still have my start tab over here and then I have drawing two right here. I'm going to close out drawing two and then I can just come right back to this start menu. If you pull this down, notice that it's highlighted acad.dwt. We're actually using a drawing template.dwt. Uh, anytime you start with a, a drawing, you're going to start with a drawing template. ACAD.dvt is our basic template that we'll always start with. In this class, you won't be asked to use any of these other templates. We'll just go with the basic default. You can open files this way. If you need to open up a specific file that you're working on and you don't see it in recent documents, you can click here and it'll ask you to open up a file. It'll, you can navigate to wherever you need to go and that's pretty much all we need to do on this page. If I want to get to the other page, I'm going to click here for learn, or I could click down here for learn. Click over here, and it's just telling us what's new. So AutoCAD 2020 just or 2021 just came out this year in 2020. You can click on here to see the new features that are in this release of AutoCAD. So any new release that you click on, you'll be able to see what the new and improved features are between this one and the last one. There's also some really great getting started videos that you can go to. Um, feel free to just kind of peruse those. We actually have our own videos taking you through the projects and what you'll need to learn, but these are nice little helpful videos to have. It does have some learning tips over here and you can kind of scroll through different learning tips if you need to. We also have, this is a really cool thing that they've got. Somebody even pointed this out to me. I didn't even know about it. It's called the Hitchhiker's Guide to AutoCAD. Cute little play on words there, but if we come over here. It opens up a website and you can see getting started. It's gonna walk you through the basics, the precision, layers, properties, modify, symbols, layout, annotate, dimension. Once you've gone through all of these topics and if you click on each one, it's gonna take you to some videos and, and just information that you need to see about those. Once you've gone through all of those, you'll have your basics down. And we're actually, if you were to compare this to what you're going to end up with at the end of our semester, we'll have covered all of those basics plus some. So that's it. We're ready to get started. So we're going to click over here to create and we can just click start new drawing and you're ready to get started drawing.